Hey guys, Jack from Vital Calisthenics. I've been getting some burning questions from our awesome community. One of them being, do I do weighted calisthenics? Do I own a fancy weight vest? So in this video, I'll cover my experience with weighted exercises and hopefully it'll give you some ideas. Now, obviously this topic is relevant to more experienced people, but beginners stick around because you're going to learn the cheap and easy way to add weight when the time comes. Yes, weight vests are useful and they look cool, but they're also expensive and in my opinion, not necessary in the beginning. There's much cheaper and more accessible ways to get started. My starting point was humble water containers and a backpack. I started with a five litre container like this, which equates to five kilos. Yes, it's simple, but weight is weight, guys. Most of us have a backpack laying around and it's as easy as slipping in that water bottle, padding it out with towels if you need to. And just like that, you've got a cheap weight vest for pull-ups, push-ups, dips, squats, and a few other exercises. Plus, you can stay hydrated while you train. Genius. I call that a hydrating drop-down set. The only difference between exercises is how you wear the backpack. Some work better with it on your front, and vice versa. I love the water bottles because they enable you to add weight very incrementally, which gives you a steady rate of progression. Depending on the size of your backpack, you can level up your weight gain. I progressed to another cheap eight litre container, and at that point, I'd reached my storage limit, so my next step was investing in some weight plates. The weights still go into my backpack for push-ups, but I also got a weight belt, which made pull-ups and dips way more comfortable and I could work with much heavier loads without damaging my backpack. A super worthwhile piece of equipment in my opinion. Link in the description if you're interested in the one I have. Okay guys, we have a weight plate here currently attached to the weight belt and also a water container. This particular one is 25 liters. I think I've actually overfilled it, so it's probably a bit heavier. They're a great cheap alternative to weight plates. Obviously this is too big and cumbersome to fit in a backpack, but if you have your weight belt and your container has a handle on the top, then you can easily do heavier dips and pull-ups, which I'm gonna demonstrate now. If you train outdoors or travel frequently, weight plates might not be convenient. In that case, a mobile, travel-friendly solution is resistance bands, which work well for push-ups, dips, and squats. Grab your passport, because we're heading to Gainesville. As for the weight vest, I haven't bought one yet, but that's not to say that I won't in the future. I think it would be useful for dynamic exercises such as muscle ups and burpees. If I do jump on the weight vest bandwagon, you better believe I'll make a video about it, showcasing all the sweet exercises I'm doing. If you're up for a challenge guys, grab a water bottle and give this DIY weight vest a try. Tell me about your experience with weighted calisthenics and what you'd like to see next in the comments. If you're looking for a calisthenics program tailored to your goals, check out my website, link in the description. Thanks for watching guys, stay vital.